Hi YouTube, we're back for yet another video. Um, today is January 1st, 2020. So as y'all will see in a few weeks, I started a challenge, a healthy eating challenge today. Um, not gonna go into everything that's ex excluded in that because it's a lot. Um, but I decided to make applesauce tonight because I use it a lot in baking and um, it's real easy and simple to make. And it just tastes good and plain. You don't have to use it in bacon. So what we have here is five peeled and chopped, peeled, chopped, and cored um, Honeycrisp apples. I just like Honeycrisp. I just use Honeycrisp apples because they're my favorite apple. If you want a more tart applesauce, you can use Granny Smith. Um, if you want a milder flavor, you can use Fuji or Gala or Ambrosia. Um, or you can just do mixed apples and have a mixed apple applesauce um but yeah we have five peeled core chopped honey crisp apples um and we're gonna put those on medium high heat and we're gonna add half a cup of water to the pot And then we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. A quarter teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, not imitation. I don't do imitation. This is pure. And last, we're going to add one tablespoon of agave nectar. You can use um, sugar. I'm just using use agave nectar because I don't get to use it a lot. And I have it, so I was like, you know, why not use it? And we're just going to let that cook down for about half an hour until the apples become transparent or translucent and, you know, lose their crispness. They have a kind of flimsy texture to them. And then we're going to puree them. So I'll see y'all for that. Real quick, I forgot to mention that we got to stir this, you know, for that all that that we put in the pot can you know be combined with all the apples not just the ones on the top which it will get combined with all the apples once we puree them however you know it's better to get it combined now while it's still cooking so the flavors can absorb and that type of thing you know okay apples are done cooking um, now we just got to transfer them to the food processor and just process them. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And the liquid that you'll have left over at the bottom of the pot after you put all the apples in, you want to throw that in there too because if you don't, your applesauce will be really thick and you'll have um, kind of an apple butter texture. I mean, if that's what you're going for, hey, go for it. I just don't like an extremely thick applesauce like that. I don't want my applesauce to be spreadable. So now we're just going to process this. 
and what you're left with is a really smooth applesauce. It'll keep in the fridge for seven to ten days. Um, so, you know, if you want to eat it as a snack, cool. If you want to bake with it, that's cool too. Um, but yeah, that brings this video to an end. You can see the steam rising. I love it. I don't know if y'all can see it all on the camera, but I can see it from here. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, all that type of stuff. Drop in the comments if you have any questions, and I will see you guys next week.